All right, we have bought this storage unit, $626. This is actually the part two of it. If you didn't watch the first part after this video, go watch the first part. We found gold, vintage decorations, vintage everything of the Brooklyn Bridge. We found the Brooklyn Bridge in here from like 1886, and we found a Bible from 1867. So some really antique stuff in here. This is all we have left. Um, it is a ton of boxes. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go back here real quick and probably actually move this thing out so we have some room. We're gonna take this furniture out so we have a place to put stuff. It is actually very clean for its age. Like the smell in here is nothing of what I thought. I thought it might have like a worse smell to it, but it smells like just straight dust and more dust and maybe some mice droppings because I see asbestos. some. There could be some asbestos. There's definitely a mouse in here. I will tell you that. Okay. Uh, there, 100. We're seeing a mouse this episode. So, yeah, if it jumps out at you. Oh, uh, if it jumps out at me, I'm gonna have a heart attack. So we just moved this out. This is super nice, right? Like older. Wouldn't you say this is old? It is old. It's in really good condition. There's nothing in it, which is sad. I was hoping it would be full, but in really, really nice condition. I mean, how much does furniture go for like this? 20 bucks, 30 bucks? I don't know. A hundred bucks? I don't furniture's know. Furniture's expensive. Yeah, we'll have to really clean it up nice and see. Uh, our furniture game, the top is actually, take a look at the top. The top is not that bad looking at all. No scratches on it, so we probably, oh, there's a couple scratches. So we definitely want to be careful. It's real wood. So on top, we might as well just go ahead and go through this stuff. This is birthday musical. It's just a, um, plays music, little ceramic huh. thing, the turny things. You turn them and then the, they turn around and play a music song. I know about these. There's a lot of turning and music. There's a box here. We'll go through the box here in a second. Is this a G.I. Joe? What is this? Like Star Wars. Star Wars. Oh my goodness. Does it say 1986? Yeah, 1986. This is the year I came alive. I was born. <laughs> it's a weird way to put it. <laughs> This is cool. What do you think this is? We might actually, that battery's not even that corroded in it. So I think that it will still. Like a gun? Or it shoots out. It, I don't know. It, no? People in the comments are probably just chirping us so bad right now <laughs> that we don't know what this is. We don't know what it is, but it definitely says 1986 on it. Mattel 1986. So we will be putting that in a very safe spot. We have other things that look super old. What is this? We have a frog. It's not a real frog. Um, mad, hey, some of this stuff is actually worth some money. The mad stuff, because this was back in the day. Uh, I think this would definitely be old. 19, this says first printing 1970. Hmm. Copyrighted 1965 though, uh, or 1964. We'll be looking that stuff up. There is some, this is a old, this isn't even Hot Wheels, it's called Kid Co. 1979. Some old toys in here. Now that is, here we go. With, let's look for a date on this bad boy. Sometimes they're hard to find, but cool. don't see a date on it right off the bat, but you can tell it's like better made because this part right here is metal. The rest of it's plastic. We got a, yeah, he definitely looks old. Super old. Super old. There's a nice looking headlamp. Hot Wheels, Hong Kong, 1976. Palm Beach, it's been painted, so. Or Transformer, these are Transformer. Transformer. That might be a Transformer too. But oh. it's metal, like the whole thing is metal. Huh. That's pretty neat. 1985. That's pretty old. That's, that's older than me. Then we have this guy in here. Would he be a G.I. Joe? There's maybe the other half of that guy. All right, then we just have like pieces of other toys right here. And we'll look all this stuff up. And the best way that we found to look this stuff up, this could be a bag of money right here. Um, the way we found the best way to look it up is Google Lens. You take a picture of Google Lens and it usually can give you something that's similar that you can go from there. But right here, this could be 50, 60 bucks, probably easy. All the 80s toys that we learned from and picked up the toy lot, mm -hmm. 80 toys by far are way better than 90s toys. So 80s toys, but this just dates the unit right here. So we're talking toys are from the 80s. So I'm hoping back there, there's a Monopoly game. I'm hoping that thing's like full of toys back there. So this, there's something in it, 100%. You ready? Yeah. Ready for this? Um, uh, that's for airbrushing. Yeah, this would be like an airbrush kit. It's missing, actually, I don't think it's missing anything. Badger airbrush. In the USA, does that go here? Yeah, that goes there. It's heavy. Huh, 
don't know if there's anything under this. No, it's super. That's actually pretty nice. This could be worth, I mean, again, we'll be throwing this old comp stuff on here. We are just learning when it comes to a whole bunch of this stuff. I don't know how much a Badger number 150 United States made airbrushing kit goes for, but I'm guessing 30 bucks. Maybe. 40 bucks. On the low end. On the low end, the box. Oh, man, the box is beautiful. Look at that. Badger 154 four pack. What do you say we tackle all these cool looking bins right here? Yes. Let's do it. First, oh, this is super heavy. Like. Dude, look at how old this box is. Plano, the 802 in super good condition. The box alone is 10, 20 bucks. Okay, so these are all, uh, actually that one looks older. You're really looking for like the wood ones from back in the day, but like something like this on eBay, you sell the whole lot of it, right? You don't try to, wow, that one says Japan on it. Yeah, see stuff like this, I'll be looking up and researching each one. And then what I basically will do would be go ahead and sell this as a lot um so what i'm gonna do is go through each and every one of these and just make sure they're not worth a ton of money because the the good ones usually have a marking on them and but this right here ebay gold honestly like you just put that up on bid and that thing probably will bid up to 20 30 bucks easy now everybody knows that i like fishing gear i like fishing boxes too this box is in really good condition oh yeah look at all this Whoever was the fisherman in the uh, in the family was very very organized. Organized. Have you ever seen a fishing box more organized in your no. life? No. No. Not Our, even mine. No. Yours isn't this organized. Are you kidding me? Hoping we find some knives. What is this? What is that? That, that looks. Oh, it's an old gaff. Okay. It's like a ceramic. No. Is that ceramic or is that metal? Catching fish, or they're catching fish big enough to gaff, so that's pretty cool. It's like this box I'm selling as it is. Like I'm looking through it, see if I want to grab anything personal use, and if I don't, then you, you sell this as a loaded fishing box. On eBay, you take some pictures, you put this thing on bid, this could go for 20, it could go all, I've seen them go all the way up to hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So definitely cool here and how good this is already laid out. That's what I'm doing here. Loaded fishing box for sale on eBay, no problem. Is that a baby Christmas tree? Yeah, and I think this is where the mouse lives because uh -huh. there's a lot of mouse droppings around this thing. Ooh. See it all? So we're gonna, we can see there's a Christmas tree in there. This is full of something, I'll tell you that. Not too terribly heavy. Some more, some more mouse, mouse poo. Doesn't smell like mouse poo in here though, surprisingly. What do you think's in here? It is um like medical stuff. What is this? Oh yeah, that's gonna be like a jewelry box. We'll open that in a second. This almost looks like it was in like a side table or something. <laughs> these, um, these are like little figurines. Look at that guy. What is that guy? Wow. Okay, first, there's that. There's a good looking throwing knife. Huh. That doesn't fit in at all in this box. Right? No. Like, like there's medical stuff. This, oh, there's, there's a lot in here. It's just not medical. It's like all buried under this stuff. I don't know what Bandmaster is, but that's heavy made in Germany. Look at this bad boy. Oh. Puma? Man, some knives, especially that look like this with real bone and stuff, can go like astronomically high. Astronomically high. I don't even know what we're looking at here. What is this? For oil, oh, for this is for like a CPAP machine. Um, he's made of metal, he goes with the other guys. That has a stamp on it. This guy right here has a stamp. The yeah, the cross has a stamp on it. Those gloves, like old vintage gloves. Yeah, like look, old vintage gloves in here, like doily gloves. Then you have like this thing. Man, you know that's old, right? Made yeah. in Italy. Like that's old, right? What is this? What that is? It's it's wild looking. Whatever it is, definitely older too. This is heavy, like. Really? Yeah, this thing weighs like. Close to half a pound. Is this a harmonica? I said that weird. <laughs> harmonica? <laughs> We're keeping that in. Harmonica. Harmonica. How do you do that? that... Whoa, it is. The Bandmaster Deluxe Cr 
monochromatic. Look at this, in perfect condition. This thing, some harmonicas can go for like, what, 30, 40 bucks? That thing is legit. This thing is like the most legit harmonica I've ever seen. Wow, we would definitely look this up and throw up how much it's worth on the, uh, on the screen. Some jewelry. Um, I don't, I think this is not gonna be any type of, but some of this old vintage, like these earrings right here, right? Yeah. I mean, that stuff you can't buy anywhere. Mm -hmm. So this stuff still sells online. Some of it's super long tail. It just means that it takes a while to sell. I'm not seeing that that's real. There's a lot in here. Oh, no, it's just one thing. These sell really well, don't they? I don't know what that is. It's a necklace. Yeah, but I, well, I know it's a necklace. I just don't know. Stone what necklace? Oh, yeah. That, I don't know. Ten bucks? All right, here's another jewelry box. No, these are coins. That coin is wrapped up in something weird. Yeah, these are all like uh, coins and medallions and... Let me see that coin. Some praying hands. That might be an older dime. Like this looks, this looks real. It's got a mark right there. You can tell how it's like kinked up. That's not bad, I man. We got some money, got some jewelry. Moving on to this stack right here. Here is a, ooh, this is heavy. And what we're trying to do is kind of be gentle on this because I think we can resell this. This is a, you know, we haven't really talked about how much we think we can sell this for. There. So we'll go through this even better, but there's really only a whole bunch of clothing in there. Get off of there. It's heavy. It's heavier than the other one. Let's see what's inside of it. Uh, a whole bunch of paperwork. Uh, uh, there's a ring box. I can't tell if anything's in it, but... Is that a napkin holder? What's the bottom of that say? Oh, there's a Victorian lace. It's hmm. old. It's from like, I can't read it. I think I'll have to go to the eye doctor soon because it seems like I can't read anything at this point. But let's see if there's a ring in this thing. No, no ring. It says pictures on it. Okay, well that's not a picture. It's a brand new Dremel. Well, not brand new, but very close to it. Those things are like 10 bucks. There are a lot of pictures in here. What is that? Look at that. Nice little brass thing. That's cool. An old Ryobi. This is before Ryobi went green. This is when Ryobi was blue. Who remembers those days? Brand spanking new. Nah, maybe not. Used once or twice. Some of those can go for a decent amount of money. That one's in pretty rough condition though. And on the outside, this does say, um, this is, this might be the one of the coolest things I've ever found, like ever. What is it? Mount St. Helen, 1980, authentic volcanic ash. What? How cool is that? Is the ash in there? Yeah, see it? Oh yeah. The rest of these are literally pictures. There is a lot of furniture and some of it's scratched, but no, this one, geez, this is heavy. Like, oh, that means that other piece is gonna be just yeah, as heavy. Yeah, there's a huge piece back here. Is this sellable nowadays? I would T think so. Uh, tell us down below, man, it's pretty nice stuff. Let's see if, what is that? Sterling stereo? Is that a um, slide thing yeah. where you put your put stuff in? Maybe more more jewelry. I think that's like costume jewelry. I'm guessing. Yeah. But that's not bad, right? Beads, possibly. Oh yeah. Oh wow, that's a big cross. Italy on the back of it. It's probably not silver. And all right, I know that you are a singer. You're a singer. How's this open up? My mom would be like. The other way. Towards you. Towards me. The top of this, this goes. Oh, this way. Yep. Gotcha. There you go. Hey, the monster. Oh my goodness. That thing is a monster. We'll run the code on this, the Singer Manufacturing Company. This, this might be the prettiest one I've ever seen. Me too. Moving on, we have a brand new Yahtzee game here. Brand spanking new, usually the dates on these. Made in the United States, 2005. So that's not bad. It's not like ten dollars. 
we're gonna start moving through the uh, this right here. This is odor stop. Probably a filter. Hmm. Some of these actually can go for a decent amount of money. We'll have to look it up to see how much that one goes for. That's a CPAP machine. Ooh, a that's... Purse. We'll do the purse later on because it is full of stuff. I mean, some of these regulators for that stuff is worth some decent money. So always keep the, the regulator because that one's a good one. It's going to be... Um... Oh, wow. I, don't, I mean, it's missing its thing, but I don't know. And then there's a ton of jewelry in here. What's that costume? Like costume jewelry? Mm -hmm. But we'll what definitely go through and make sure there's no gold in it or anything. All right, so we went through the purse. Most of it was super, like, personal thing, items and everything like that. But we did find, like, I don't know, 20 bucks and change? I kid you, that's not 20 bucks. Maybe, like, five bucks and change. And then this right here, the sack, is a really good name brand purse yeah. company. Mm -hmm. And this is actually in super good condition. That probably goes for about 10 bucks. It's probably an older one, obviously, because everything in here is older. So not too bad there. Moving on to this box, way heavier than I thought, actually. This says um, dining room table. I don't think a dining room table is going to fit in with another purse. It's got stuff in it. I don't like throwing the clothing on the ground, but to be honest with you, this clothing is in pretty bad condition. The smell has come up to more of a mildew smell in this box it wasn't like that before but this 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 has a um a scent that tickles your throat oh interesting oh what is this it's going to be an apple because it has an apple charger on it how do you open this thing be smarter than the apple oh there it goes uh, it's an ipod okay. ipad ipad so we actually basically are collecting these at this point because we find one so far in every unit and they're not worth a ton of money, 16 gigabyte, unless they're like the super newer ones. That's what we're finding out, right? So, yeah. but easily 30 bucks on them. Mm -hmm. uh, no cracks. This is a really nice case for it, but that's definitely a keeper right there. Into the box, the more the scenty the box gets. Azor wireless rechargeable mouse. You know this thing is going to come in handy for us. Look how small this mouse is. You think that's the one that's pooping everywhere? No? We have something here heavy wow it's also stuck it's not what i thought it was going to be what is this it's a box in a box in another box is this a, is this some sort of joke oh oh my rosary so it's a nice rosary oh that's pretty that would obviously go in here that is pretty it's got a really nice box to it huh all right moving on to the kitchen box yeah on the other box that we went through there was nothing nothing in it i actually just sold one of these for ten dollars not the super world but this one's in really good condition uh, it's got a little little janky to it but put a little wd-40 on that thing boom you'll be mixing Cooking eggs in again. no time Cooking in no time a lot of spiders now, I'll tell you what, uh, Boys High School Brooklyn Senior Recorder 1967. Like, I guess this would be a sort of like a yearbook. Yearbooks on eBay sell really, really well. I've sold one as high as 75 bucks before. So that's always a keeper, usually. Uh-oh. 1909 to 1940. Think it's in there? I don't know. Look at these old pennies. Oh, wow. Look at that. Now, do we have the one that's worth $50,000 or whatever? Probably not, but maybe they're worth more than a cent. Finally made it to this, and as you can tell right here, it has stuff in it, which is good. We're gonna go ahead and do it. This stuff back here, which you can actually see, some 1990s baseball cards, some vintage games, some vintage toys, that's gonna be actually on the third part of this storage unit. But right here, we're gonna go ahead and go through this. They probably won't be sold or anything, but now I knew, all right, let's try this again. <laughs> it's heavy, it's got like, I don't know what's in it, maybe gold bars? Dang. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty neat. That is cool. First drawer, not so good, but maybe the second drawer is better. All right, second drawer, please be better than the first drawer, okay. 
We got some different stuff in this one. What is that? A vintage game, maybe? Distant complete checkers. There's no way that there's complete checkers in there. Look, no, the, the uh, there's only two in there. Oh. Worth some money. Okay, we got Indian head scents. No, oh, there's one. Oh, there's th there's a couple. There's a couple. There's three of them. Four of them in here. And what is that? Indian head pennies. Hmm. I've actually never seen one of those ever. Have you? No. And then this one right here, it's the same as the other book, but we also have some in here. So we have, this is not that bad. I like to find some quarters, maybe. Wow, look at that thing. Is this the Declaration of Independence? I'm, look at the paper. That's some old paper. What are we working with here, boys? Is this it? Did we just find the original Declaration of Independence? Sorry, I got a... What's that? Rifle cleaning rod, 22. It's definitely not right for you, aren't they? That right now. Did you find the Declaration of Independence? I don't know. Hold on, I got. <laughs> I think I did. Maybe. What is this? Is is this made to look old? It is the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> oh wow. What is this? this guy... Obviously, it's a reprint. Well, if it was the right, if it was the actual Declaration of Independence, <laughs> guess what? We, we're not doing YouTube videos anymore. We'll um, we'll see y'all on some private island somewhere. That's pretty neat. We all actually okay. We know stuff in here is super old, right? So this has got to be still old. Yeah. So we will look this up. Not saying that it's worth anything, but it's pretty neat. There's an old uh, Robin Hood, oh. Walt Disney, some more books. I've never seen the red one. Oh yeah, they're, I haven't seen that either. Usually they're gold, aren't they? Yeah. So we'll have to look at to see exactly what that is. <laughs> All right, so we could have just found the Declaration of Independence. We don't know, but the next video will be all the baseball cards and anything there we don't know what's back there we haven't even the only reason we know those baseball cards is because we can see them so again if you remember 650 dollars actually it was 629 we're rounding up to 650 how how what do you think we're doing yeah good well, i think we're doing pretty good for 650 i think maybe by this time we've doubled our money i think there's gonna be a lot of money in this old vintage stuff we're talking a lot of this stuff is probably back from like the 40s to 50s so definitely some cool stuff here really interested to get back in those boxes in the next video if you would subscribe comment down below like the video and you know i will always get you on the next one